Hi there, this is Shameless Trouble, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make the stove that's next to me. Okay, let's get to it. First thing, I made a platform that I can use to make the stove on. I like to use this flooring because it has a grid on it and makes it easier to line things up, but we won't really need that a lot in this project. Um, I have the generator and that is under generators, the third one down. I like to use this little blue one just because it's little and it's cute. And the pressure plate, which is under power connectors. Okay, the items that we're going to be using to start are under chairs. It's under, it's a variant under this pew. This bench. And we're going to be using this power connector. What you need to do is put this on the bottom and line it up about halfway on that third slat. And it'll click on the other side and do the same thing up top. These are going to make the burners. So you're going to want to merge these down into the bench two clicks. Oh, I'm sorry. First, I need to connect the pressure plate to the generator. And click the bench twice. There. Okay, that's going to go on ta the black table. Where's table? Okay, it is a variant under this table. We're going to use three of them. And this goes on top of the black table. Try to get it as centered as you can. Then you want to merge this down into the bench goes just into the black table. This time you click the table. There you go. Now we want to put these three tables on another table. Chairs and tables should be next to each other. <laughs> it is a variant under this end table. We want this table here. You can make the stove with or without the knobs on the right. Sometimes, actually, usually, I don't include the knobs just to save on the four objects for budget. Um, 
but it's up to you decide which one you want to go and I'll show you how to do both. If you don't want to add the knobs to your stove, just merge the black tables down to the brown table and skip this next step. If you want to add knobs to your stove, you have to merge two things at different intervals into this brown table. So we need to figure out how many clicks it takes to merge the black table into the brown table and how many clicks it takes to merge the bottle bot into the black table. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To get the table to pop up, just click on it, click on the table, the black table, and it'll pop right out. And then put the bottle on, and see how many clicks you want that down. That's one, two. Okay, so the table, the black table took 28 and this took 13. So what we need to do is merge the black tables down, 28 minus 13 is 15 times, and then stop and put the bottles on and merge all of it together down the other 13 times. I say 15 times. Two, okay, three, four, It's pretty hard to get these to line up really well. Try as hard as you can. I guess for the purpose of this video, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then merge it down the rest of the way, clicking the brown table. And you can see what it looks like with knobs. Also, if you don't want to use the black tables, you can use the red table. I use the red racket table. You 
can use this table right here to add some color to your kitchen. Okay. Now under beds, you want to grab the tomb bed. It's under, it's a variant of this bed. If you don't have the tomb bed, you can use cabinets that go down to the floor to hide all of this stuff underneath. Or anything that you have that will hide those legs. Okay, let's put this on here. Okay, and let's merge it in. This time you click on the tomb bed. Okay, now we're going to want to put the um, cabinets surrounding the bed. To do this, we were going to have to flamethrower the tomb bed. about just blows everything up <laughs> and we're going to be using oh, the Old West bar it's under the this variant of the fancy bar you can actually use the Red Rocket bar the Slocum Joe's bar I just like the way the old West Bar looks. Now start in the middle. See, you, when you have it on the grid, you can see exactly where this needs to go. It needs to go on these three lines. Right there. And push it until it turns red. You want to get it as far in there as you can. and one on each side. Turn the um, snapping off. Line it up with that bar. And do the same on the other side. Okay, now we're going to put the corner pieces on, so we have to flamethrower There's two pieces on both ends. Oops. Okay, now we want to put the corner pieces on. Turn snapping back on, and yeah. Okay, you want to repair it all. And 
And there you have the stove. And hopefully you learned how to multi-layer merge today as well. Again, if you have any questions or comments, or if you want to see anything specific in a tutorial, let me know in the comments. Please like and share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day, guys.